the story begins, deep in the Amazon rainforest, and with a single tribe, the Shuar. The tribe's ancestral homeland lies amongst the tributaries of the Amazon River, in the remote jungle of Ecuador. With a reputation as fearsome warriors, the Shuar were the only South American indigenous people never to have been conquered by the Spanish Empire. Over thousands of years, they mastered the macabre art of head shrinking before it was banned in the 1960s. The Shuar call these shrunken heads Sansa. Felipe Sancouche is a former president of the Shuar Federation. La Santa para nosotros los Shuar primero es identidad propio de nosotros los Shuar que significaba triunfo, poder, orgullo. These weren't trophies of war. They were more than simply symbolic. In a world in which the spirits of the dead were as real as the living, shrunken heads served an important practical purpose. La práctica de hacer la chanza era una manera de, de exigir seguridad a la familia. Ese era el beneficio que traía la chanza. It was not about the physical item. It filled purely a, a practical spiritual function. At Philadelphia's Mutter Museum, curator and forensic anthropologist Anna Doty studies Sansa and the Shuar belief system. The Shuar believe in spirits. They believed that the enemy, the spirit of their enemy, could still harm them even after death and that they had to take preventative measures. So by taking the head of their enemy and by creating these very special Sansas, they could actually effectively seal the spirit of their defeated enemy in the head. Each genuine shrunken head shares the same distinctive characteristics. Charcoal darkened skin, sealed eyes, and mouth. The careful and deliberate closure of the eyes and mouth provides a clue to the shrunken head's spiritual purpose. The eyes can be sewn shut, the nose is sometimes plugged shut, and most importantly, it's the mouth. The mouth is either pegged shut with very specific types of pegs, or it's actually sewn shut. And that's very important because you want to seal these orifices up so that the soul or the spirit of the defeated enemy cannot escape. <laughs> 